to my bathroom. <laughs> Rosie and Gas to feature me. I realized they would be probably coming to my bathroom. This is my opportunity to get organized. So I'm gonna go through every part of the bathroom with you guys. Nothing to hide, hopefully. Oh, Bear has joined us on the bathroom tour. I'm really congested. Although, if you heard that, that was Bear. My throat. It's on fire. When you're blowing your nose, but your eyes water at the same time. Say hi again. I don't know if this is allergies or a cold. I'm gonna beat it. The essentials need to be out. My glasses. Lip balm by Dr. Sturm. Herbivore Prism. A good exfoliant. Here we have hair ties. I like these silky slip hair ties. They help prevent your hair from breaking. Helpful for doing makeup. This whole line of hand soaps gets me lots of compliments when people come over. They smell really good, and I just get them on Amazon. I really like this tulip one. Sonic Air toothbrush, great because it forces you to brush your teeth for two hours. Yeah, two minutes. Hair dryer is in the towels. Fuzzy robe. Love this ladder slash rack that I got at the Citizenry. Great for hanging towels, hand towels, clothes that you've worn one time. It's not dirty, but it's not clean. It's my laundry hamper, and that is where I draw the line. She's earthy, and she matches the rest of the bathroom. So you do really enjoy decorating shelves using trays as a way to organize products and show off really beautiful bottles. The skin tonics and toners before your serum when I want a deep cleanse. The other good thing about toners is that they help even out your skin tone. Then we have the facial mists. I use a lot as you can see here. Omarovska. I have various ones for after the sun. I love that it's called witchy handmade potions. I have a few drops left. Jasmine is probably my favorite favorite scent. And on to the facial oil. This is for facial expression lines. I definitely should be using that. I probably use an oil once a week. They're gorgeous. And repurposing vases for makeup brushes. This actually came from my grandmother's house in Oxford, North Carolina. Try to <laughs> Get flowers to make it look pretty in here for you guys. But uh, this transparent, smoky Art Deco vase ended up making these stems look like asparagus and green water. Love perfumes, even just to have in the house because they look so beautiful. This is a really yummy one. I love a personal fragrance. This one is divine. I'm a fan of these earthier scents as well. I love this amber. I actually found this at a Whole Foods. Love ceramics. It can have a really nice design while not feeling pretentious. It's a craft that has been evolving for who knows how many years. These are Epsom salts. Magnesium for really tired muscles. Door number two. Beautiful cotton pads for using toners or makeup remover solution on your face. This is one of the most trusted French hair brands. Kudos to them for making beautiful hair products. Candles over here. This beautiful Diego Rivera copy got at the Frida Kahlo Museum in Mexico City. It's important to have candles. I like how the scents can take my mind to different places. These wooden sticks look like joints. They're actually the this beautiful burning wood kind of transports you outside. Someone once told me that the Japanese treat bath time as a meditative process. Always since then thought of bath time as a meditative time. I got this bath pillow from Amazon. We will get into nitty gritty of these cabinets. Bathroom cabinets are so personal. I had to work out a system in here. Everything just gets so overwhelming. I'm also very spoiled and grateful for being so spoiled. To be honest, I am sent a lot of products. So like I am a pro product tester. This side is serums. This is a wrinkle smoothing serum supreme. And it means that very thick, luxurious serum. This is more of an everyday type serum. Then we have moisturizers. This one's 111 Skin, which 
it's clearly almost finished, is a day one. Put on different moisturizers depending on if I'm wearing makeup or if I'm not wearing makeup or if I'm going to sleep. DNA tested and they sent me skincare and it's amazing, but it kind of burns your skin. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I figured once in a while maybe that's okay. It must mean that there's active ingredients in it. These are eye creams. This is something that I've started doing more and more frequently. I did not used to wear eye creams. This is pretty self-explanatory. Lip pencils kind of categorize into reds and neutrals, pinks. I feel very spoiled showing you so many products growing up. I was lucky if I got my own hairbrush. Love you, mom. Sharpeners, eyeliners, mascaras, Q-tips, razor heads. Strangely, this probiotic Japanese soap is my soap of choice. Body lotions and oils. Tracy Martin. This one is really soothing to muscles. These are really body glow enhancing. Patrick Ta, who is a very talented makeup artist, entrepreneur. La Mer, Charlotte Tilbury. Nail clippers and makeup removers. Number two, drum roll. Here we have hair products. Categorized by whatever was short enough to fit in the cabinet. Protectant spray for weak and damaged hair. Hair oil, everyone's favorite go-to volume powder spray. Lipsticks, one case. Another one. I roll deep with the lip products. These are eye products, different eye palettes. We have Armani, Pat McGrath. I love her packaging. Little baskets, we have more eye palettes, just singular ones. Armani, go-to eyebrow case. Eyebrow essentials. I don't stick to one eyebrow method. Laura Mercier, Charlotte Tilbury, Glossier, Anastasia, tweezers. This is one of my favorite cases because it holds my skincare makeup products. Now we're going below the cabinets. And it definitely reminds me of when my mom made me clean my room and I just put everything under the bed. I've organized things into these French iron baskets. More face cleansers. Probiotic cleanser. The cleanser I use the most is the one that's in my shower. And here we have skin makeup. Different products for a different range of coverage on your skin. Powders for when you're feeling greasy. Some of these are foundations. Bronzing tints, Charlotte Tilbury. She also gives you directions. Sculpt and highlight. As you can tell, I've used this a lot. This bag is medicinal things. We have Advil, vitamin D, allergy drops. My eyes are a sensitive spot. You get tiny red bumps on the lash. I have to use these before or after putting in contact. Deodorant, saline spray, neosporin. You get the idea. Hairbrushes, favorite one for tangles. I love this milk and sass brush. It opens like this. PSX by Danielle. This has more of those gorgeous clay de peau silky cotton pads. Basket numero trace. Extra things by Derma Body Lotion. I like this because it's not scented. This is a really beautiful hairline. Purple shampoo for when my hair gets brassy. Body lotion, Tracy Martin. I love that they use natural ingredients. I wonder what would happen if I ate this whole jar of vitamin gummies. This is the case for the go-tos as of right now. Hi. Out of this lineup, I can show you guys the products that I'm wearing right now. Hauschka bronzing tint mixed with moisturizer. Pat McGrath highlighter. I used a brush with a MAC powder for the brows. This prestige liner, Odeal lipstick. They call it suede lips. And that's it. No mascara, nothing else. That's my philosophy. These are all skincare masks. This is a firming overnight mask. I might use that tonight, flying tomorrow. I like to use tea masks when my skin is feeling congested. Love the Tracy Martin Complexion Savior Mask. There's aloe in it and it's really hydrating. These clay masks, really good during the summertime, bring out the toxins. It's by far one of my favorites. If you wear this overnight while sleeping, your skin really does feel like it's had an oxygen facial. Skin by Mamie, when my skin is feeling really red, irritated, it's very soothing. My favorite instant spot treatment when you have a pimple you put this on overnight at least reduces the impact. The shishao. 
This is my go-to cleansing cream. I've used it for years. I source their ingredients from the Swiss Alps. Leon Gorman. I love this conditioner. It's a sugar face polish, an exfoliant. And that's my Japanese probiotic soap. That's the shishao. Pointy Q-tips. Queen mascara wands. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions. I'll see you guys next time.